Oh man, man I forget. I forgot. My bad, y'all. I forgot. On um, on his iPhone, when you play uh the music, you gotta. You know, I gotta. You know, I cut off. I gotta. My bad, y'all. Back door. So you with the slappers, huh? We land low. Man, so hold on. The name of that song, Smackers. Yeah. Man, what inspired you to write that? Yeah, everything that's going on, like around me, type shit, like all the killing and shit, the violence. Why the Terran Gates with you? AK would you give AK Mr. Answer right back? AK the people chat, Terrence Civilian Williams. And I got Chopper Boy, um, who was one signed to it, Turk, correct? Yeah. Um, but I've been seeing some stuff. Let's just get to it. I've been seeing some stuff. First of all, where you where you where you born and raised at? Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama. 205. So I've been seeing some stuff on Instagram oh, with you and Turk. Well, somebody put a picture with y'all two together. They had some stuff. I didn't really get into it, but I see it on different things. I was like, man, what's going on? So um, what's the problem? What's going on? Yeah, man, I just for real feel like that nigga used me. You feel me? Like, I've been around that nigga since he came home. And it's like, shit, when everything was falling apart, I was still with him. But as soon as everything get right, he get back on ship, on board. He just, he throw me under the rug. Like, like I wasn't even around, no promotion. You know, like, no nothing, no contact, no nothing. What you mean he threw you under the, under the, under the, under the rug? Like... He just stopped promoting me and everything. Like, shit, I, I, I ain't talked to him in months. But I supposed to be your artist, though, you feel me? So I got every right to feel how I feel about that, you know, that situation. Bro, first, let me just say this here, bro. I think you ought to get a pair of these shit. It seems like you got some ops. Like, it's, it's, I got socks to sell, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Mm -hmm. um, so it seems like it's about to go down. But now, but on, on a serious note, um... Have you tried to reach out to Turk? I did, but she he sent me straight to voicemail. Wow. Now I remember the last time you and I had to talk. Uh, what did he mad with you about some other stuff that happened, like a, a misunderstanding with you and somebody else? Yeah, um, yeah, with that boosted situation when boosted. So he might be mad him. about that and he might distance himself from that. I don't think it's that, like. Cause we just, I had just got with him at a show in Birmingham. Like we were just together. Mm. So you feel me? Like you, what you play like you fought with me, so I can come and take you at the show, or or what? What it was? You feel me? What I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like I, he just be, he just got his little ways though. Like I ain't gonna blow your phone up. Is there any other artists that you be talking to that have in that situation? Yeah, the, the art, his artist from, from the past. Like, they they both had called me. And he was just like, yeah, man, that nigga did me the same way. Mm. Like, listen, learn, though. Like, you feel me? I know it went me, because I'm doing everything right. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But it's just a lesson learned, though. Like, um... I got more opportunities and everything, more doors open for me. You know, ever since I just, you know, wrote that post about that situation. 
What post you wrote? When I had um the post on Instagram. When I had wrote that on my story, when I was talking to him, I had forgot what I said, but it's still alone there because um, uh, um, one of them bloggers, they had caught it on my day. and But it's on my profile. Like, if you go look on my page, it's on there. But I had wrote how I felt about that little situation. And everybody was agreeing with the shit. Like, they was like, shit, BG was right, woot the woot, this and that. Okay, this is what I see right here. Yeah, that's it. I wrote that. Oh, you put this up. Yeah, I wrote that, but the dude, the, the, the blogger, he had, you know, did all that and added it on my page. He collaborated with me. Mm. Yeah, that's a famous um, blogger from out of um, Alabama. Wow, bro. So, um, you did you sign a contract with Turk. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and I, I signed the contract, but the contract it been over for real, for real. But it's like you feel me. He wanted to renew it. I let it whoop the whoop, but I ain't never ever go back, you know, forward with it or whatever. I just end up kind of falling back because I see that he was taking his. He stopped taking me serious, and you know, I guess he moved on to be a podcast and shit. I don't know what he wanted to be, but one minute he was a preacher. He got mad, he got some folks married, all type of shit. But you know, but he, his focus went on me, like, and I supposed to be an artist and shit. You feel me? You weren't pushing me or nothing. Like, you didn't even share my music when it dropped. Oh yeah, man, no, like he 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 went stand me. Like if I wouldn't ever said spoke on the situation anyway. It would have still been the same. He wouldn't have been calling me. He wouldn't have been picking up my calls. Like every time I called him, he would be busy type shit. You feel me? But yeah, it just been a lot of little, you know, just it just been a lot of little fluke stuff. That's all. So you feel some type of way though? Yeah, I feel some type of way about it. Cause I've been around you this long and it felt like you just you use me, you feel me, like for publicity. You know my city fucking with me. You act like you want to do this, you gonna do this for me. Then time came down to it. you vanish, like, and you know what I'm talking about. You know that you know that ain't real at all. Like you had all these folks believe in that, but it ain't even what it's saying. You feel what I'm saying? Mm hmm So from what I'm gathering. And you see, they about to do that high bar reunion, so he about to be turned up, be hot. So are we gonna hear some diss songs coming in Turk, or are you gonna just move on and go about your business? I'm just gonna, you know, move on. You feel me? Because it ain't he ain't need worth it. You feel me? Like just because somebody do you wrong, that don't mean you do them wrong. You feel me? You still gonna have a blessing coming. So I just learned how to just turn the other cheek. I ain't even tripping off of it, but he know he wrong about the situation, like. You feel me? Then, you know. You know what? No, I'm just saying, like, he was telling me about his other artists that he had, whoop the whoop, this and that. Like, they ain't want to listen, whoop the whoop, shit. I see why they ain't want to listen, because you, you brush them to the side and forget about them. Don't, don't, don't share their music. You don't put out that effort. And what you doing to promote them little parties and events that you gotta perform at with your artists? Like he ain't posting none of that, none of the artist shit. Like you got the platform, you already made it. Shit, I'm still trying to make it. Like damn, you probably be going hard every day. My name probably be mentioned everywhere. Chopper boy, chopper boy. Even if they ain't asking about me, chopper boy shit. Cause that's how you gotta put it out there in the um, algorithm. So they'll be like, oh, who you talking about, chopper boy? Who chopper boy? Like. Like even every interview I had, I mentioned I don't just say go scream my shit. I say go scream his shit too. You feel me? Mm hmm Yeah, he yeah. but everybody ain't real. Like everybody ain't real, but I had caught the little slick shots he was throwing today. But at oh, the end you of the day, I sent you today. Yeah, I had chimed in on the live, you feel me? And I had seen it and um he was talking about 
people need to get their hate up out of their heart, woot the woot, this and that. And I was just thinking to myself, like, you really don't lie. You feel me? Throwing slick shots about me when you know you just called my phone. You got my main line. It ain't like I went, we just went cool, but it's just like, I peeped your, I peeped your vibe. Like, you just got feminine ways. Like, nigga, you get mad about anything. So I, you know, that's, that's like, you giving me vibes of my mama. You feel me? Type shit. Nigga, you gonna oh. be my manager or you my mama, nigga. You get mad about a little petty shit. Like, damn, I'm your artist, nigga. You supposed to be with your artist right or wrong. Because that's how I'm riding with you when niggas coming at you all this type of way shit. Like, I ain't worried about when no, you know, when them, when people was coming at him and shit. I wasn't worried about that shit. I wasn't going to let a nigga play with him, but you feel me? Niggas ain't had that same energy towards me, though. So I showed too much loyalty on my end toward that nigga, so. You feel me? And that's how that shit played out. He went his other way. Like, he just forgot. Like, he just forgot about me. So, if you, if you had a chance to speak with him, what, what would you say? What, how would you? See, if I could talk to him face to face or speak to him, I'm going to tell him, shit, you wrong. You know you wrong. Like, come on, man. Like, I got everybody to vouch for this. I got receipts. Like, you a nigga been around you this long, bro, and you just sweep a nigga under the rug as soon as everything fall in place. When niggas went fucking with you, whoop the whoop, who would that? Chopper boy. Shit. I'm still there talking to you, man. They gonna be it, man. Everything gonna fall in place, whoop the whoop. Everything fell in place. Shit, warm me. Still in the hood while that nigga on the road doing shows. Oh, I got free, I got free tickets. Who trying to win some free tickets to the Louisiana Fest? Nigga, you got artists. You got an artist right here. Nigga, what are free tickets at so me and my folks can come through? You feel me? Like, you up here talking about you got tickets for niggas to win, but shit, what about your artists? You ain't see about your artists opening up? Because I probably be a reflection to you, nigga, if I'm your artist. Mm. You feel me type shit. Very fast. Yeah. So now, what you got going on, bro? Like, we got any song? Anybody you want to collab? Yeah, I got some new music and shit on. I got some new music and shit on the way. I'm about to get ready to drop. Um, looking over some new contracts. I got my people out there in Cali. They trying to put some shit together right now with Universal. They already went up there and talked to them. I got me my entertainment lawyers so I can get all that paper. You feel me? You know, everything. So... I'm doing everything right this time. I ain't gonna let no nigga just, you feel me? Like, I ain't let him just do me wrong. You feel me? I just, I just know how to handle niggas when I see them. Like, this real life right here, I ain't, I ain't no entertainment. You feel me? None of that. Mm -hmm. I really get, I'm, I really get down out here and, and he know that, like, type shit. And I ain't sending no threats or nothing. I'm just saying, like, See, at the end of the day, we grown man. And if you step on my shoe, you know what that means. Hmm. Okay. Well, like I say, so, because I'm just trying to, I, I, just, I was just trying to get the full understanding. I see the, the post and Instagram, but from the way you're talking now, it's like you don't have no problem with it. So I'm wondering, like, you know, you know what's going on with you, where you at with it? Because... I'm just trying I, to make some sense of this. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just out that nigga way. Like, I don't fuck with him. Like, cause that bad business. It's like, you feel me? It's like mm -hmm. a nigga use you. You feel me type shit. A nigga use me for a buzz. You feel me? Knowing I was going up at that time, whoop the whoop. Dude, nigga, it's been five years, nigga, ain't nothing changed. I was paying for my own shit, videos, whoop the whoop. Like even when we went on the road, the nigga hit me up last minute. Oh, I'm gonna need you down here. Man, we drove 13 hours. 13 hours with them sticks, man. Like I'm burning oh, yeah. everywhere I go. But I'm just saying we drove 13 hours to get down there. And a nigga ain't give us nothing no gas, no nothing. You just want me to be there. But I'm your artist though, you feel me type shit. But you know, it's just been a lot of little sucker shit. 
I should I could have been saying something about the shit, but I was just trying to see how long that shit gonna go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, bro, you because I gotta get ready to go live now. Um, you got any shout outs? Anybody you wanna shout out or or let them know about your Instagram and all your oh, channel, yeah, man. Go follow me on on Instagram at Travel Boy C H O P P A A underscore B O Y Y Travel Boy 205 on YouTube. Chopper Boy 205 on Twitter. New new music on the way. New contract. New everything, you know. So hold up. You ready? So you said you saying you ready to get with a new family? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And this some set this some right of your music now. that haven't been released yet. Okay. I'm, I got you. This right here, what I'm saying. This yeah, right here what I'm about to Let's hear that heat right here. Yeah, that's our release right there. That's on the way. Who did the tracks? I record myself. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama shit, man. Big 205, man. Chopper boy in this bitch, man. You know. Wine, yeah. A whole lot of 205 shit. Hey, bro, so hold up. You did that beat yourself? Yeah, I do all that. That's what I'm saying. You do the beats and you write the rhymes and go. I, I freestyle. Yeah? Yeah. Like, if I did went out here and did some shit, I could just go, you know, rap it on the track. Bro, but you do all You do the beats yourself? Yeah. Man, that beat that was nice. That beat was hard. I'm all in one, man. Man, that's crazy, man. So uh yeah, we need we need to get together, bro. We're gonna hit some more music. Uh we're gonna push your music, we're gonna push your stuff, bro. Thank you for coming on the platform, bro. We out.